Hello everyone here. Welcome to the presentation of today. It's my pleasure to talk and introduce myself to you all. First and mainly, my name is Vasundhara and I have pursued my BE degree in Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering in Bangalore and I'm studying Computer Science Engineering with specialization in Data Science in first semester. So today, my presentation is about corrosion. I'm going to discuss about what is, what is corrosion, what are the types of corrosion, and what are the factors affecting corrosion. So let's start the presentation one by one. So let's start with introduction. Corrosion is a process of information of the compound of the pure metal by the chemical reaction between metallic surface and its environment. It is an oxidization process. It causes loss of metal. And this integration of metal by surrounding chemical reaction on the surface of the metal corrosion. So this was the introduction of corrosion. Let us see what is next. So here is a different theories of corrosion. There are three types of theories. First is acid theory. Second dry or chemical corrosion. Third one galvanic or electrochemical. So let us see what is acid theory is. Acid theory. This theory suggests that corrosion of the metal due to the presence of acid surroundings. According to this theory, iron is corroded by atmospheric carbon dioxide moisture and oxygen. The corrosion products are the mixture of iron bicarbonate, iron oxide, hydroxide. So this was acid theory. So let us see the second one. Chemical theory of corrosion. According to the theory, corrosion on the surface of the metal is due to direct reaction of atmospheric gas life oxygen allergens, oxide of sulfur, oxides of nitrogen, hydrogen of the particular metal depends on the chemical affinity of the metal towards reactive oxide. So in this, there are three ta main types of chemical theory of corrosion. Let us see what are they. So, first is oxidation corrosion, second corrosion by other gases, third one liquid metal corrosion. This all comes under the three main types of chemical theory. So, let us discuss what is oxidation corrosion. Oxidation corrosion. Some of the metal directly react with oxygen in the absence of moisture. Alkali and alkaline hurt the metal react with oxygen at room temperature and form corresponding oxide while some metals react with oxygen at higher temperature. Metals like silver, gold, platinum are not oxidized as they are noble metals. So this was oxidation corrosion. Let us see the second one. Corrosion by other gases. In dry atmosphere, these gases react with metal and form corrosion products which may be protective or not protective. Dry chlorine gas react with silver and form silver chloride which is protective or non protective. In petroleum industries at high temperature, hydrogen sulfide attacks steel forming iron sulfide scale which is porous and interface with normal operations. So this was about corrosion by other gases. Let us see the third one. Liquid metal corrosion. In several industries, molten metal passes through metallic pipes and causes corrosion due to dissolution or due to internal penetration. For example, liquid metal mercury dissolves most metal by forming amalgams thereby corroding them. So this was the three main types of chemical. So let us go back to the theory part. So wet or electrochemical theory of corrosion. It is a common type of corrosion of metal in aqueous corrosive environment. This type of corrosion occurs when that metal comes in contact with conducting liquid or when two dissimilar metals are immersed or dipped partly in the solution. According to this galvanic cell on the surface formation of a galvanic cell on the surface of the metal, some metals of the metal surface acts as anode and rest acts as cathode. So here is the difference between dry and wet corrosion. So let us see the difference between them. In dry corrosion occurs in the presence of moisture, in wet corrosion presence in the conducting medium. 
In dry corrosion, it involves direct attack of chemical on the metal surface. In wet corrosion, it involves formation of electrochemical cells. In dry corrosion, the process is slow. In wet corrosion, it is a rapid process. In dry corrosion, corrosion products are the products at the site of corrosion. In wet corrosion, corrosion occurs at anode but rust is deposited at cathode. So let us see what is next after this. So these are the factors influencing corrosion. The nature and the extent of corrosion depends on the metal and the environment. The important factors which may influence the corrosion process are. So here are the five major points of factors influencing corrosion. Let us see one by one. First is nature of metal. Second environment. Third concentration of electrolyte. Fourth temperature. Fifth hydrogen over voltage. So this was the factors influencing corrosion. Let us see what is next. So here is a type of corrosion. There are basically seven types of corrosion. First is uniform corrosion. Second pitting corrosion. Third explanation corrosion. 4th stress corrosion, 5th corrosive corrosion, 6th galvanic corrosion and 7th is erosion corrosion. So let us discuss one by one what are they. So here comes the stress corrosion. This type of corrosion develops a pit of very small diameter in the order of micrometer and result in a uniform and continuous decrease in thickness over the entire surface of the metal. The rate of uniform can be easily determined by measuring the mass loss or the quantity of released hydrogen. So this was stress corrosion. Let's go to the second one. The second one, pitting corrosion. This localized form of corrosion is catalyzed by the formation of irregularly shaped cavities on the surface of the metal. The diameter and the depth depends on the several parameters related to the metal, the medium and the surface condition. The pitting corrosion can be accessed using three criteria. The density, that is the number of pits per unit area, the rate of depending and the probability of pitting. So this was pitting corrosion. So let's see the third one. Explanation corrosion. Explosion corrosion is a type of selective corrosion that propagates along a large number of planes running parallel to the direction of rolling or extraction. Between these planes are very thin sheet of sound metal that are not attacked but gradually pushed away by swelling of corrosion products, pinning off like pages in a book. Hence the term explanation corrosion. So let us see the fourth one. Stress corrosion. This type of corrosion results from the combined action of mechanical stress and the corrosive environment. Each of these parameters alone could not have a such a significant effect on the resistance of the metal or could have no effect at all. So this was stress corrosion. Let us move to the fifth one. Corrosive corrosion. Corrosive corrosion is a localized corrosion in resacs. Overlapping zones of retrieving welding zones jo under joints and under various deposits. These zones also called corrosives and are very thin and difficult to access for the ac aqueous liquid that covering the rest of the relating accessible surface. This type of corrosion is also known as deposit attack. So this was corrosive corrosion. Let's go for the sixth one. Galvanic corrosion. When two dissimilar metals are in direct contact in conducting liquid, experience shows that one of the two may corrode. This is called galvanic corrosion. The other metal will not corrode. It may be even be protect, protected in this way. This corrosion is different in its kind and intensity from the one that could occur if they are placed separately in the same liquid so this was galvanic corrosion so let us move to the last one so the last one is erosion corrosion corrosion by erosion occurs in moving media this type of corrosion is related to the flow speed of fluid it leads to local thinning of metal which result in stretches gullies and undulation which are always oriented in the same direction namely the flow direction so this is the last one erosion corrosion so overall we have learned about corrosion 
and the types of corrosion and the theories of corrosion and factors influencing the corrosion so hope you all like this presentation till now if not so please comment down in the comment section so i may get my mistakes done so thank you and hope you all have a great day and please like it please like and share and your one like means a lot to me so thank you so much and have a great day bye bye